Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to do a Faber-Castell gelato comparison. See if there's any good replacements slash alternatives to them because I've had a lot of questions and messages with a few of you that have seen that I've got quite a lot of new gelatos recently and you're all asking are they any good are they worth getting now frankly do you need gelatos no they for me are very nice um, to have they are very wishy-washy very um, I like to use them direct from the bullet like um, a solid watercolor or a watercolor stick but do they give off a big pigment payoff no and if you wanted something that what did have a stronger a water soluble that did have a stronger um, pigment payoff I would probably go for something like Neocolor 2 um, water soluble crayons um, even the art bars from Dewent I quite like they're more creamy than the art bar uh, than the nail color twos and a little bit less um, strong in their pigment they, they've got more of a husky they're, they're more husky tones more natural tones so like always it kind of depends what your purpose is for using that media but for me the gelatos they're a little bit lighter um, more wishy-washy and do you need them because of that no because you can achieve that with watercolor if you was using it for backgrounds and things like that you, you can get that same effect with watercolor or even extremely watered down acrylics if you didn't even have watercolor so no you don't need gelatos having said that you don't need any media you know you can always find something that's an alternative or um just you know acrylic is probably one of my favorite things to put down on paper but or a canvas but if I was never able to use acrylics again you know if my life depended on never using them again I would never use them again I'll go to oils probably so nothing is the end of you know you don't need anything as an artist is what I'm saying however having said that what I like about the gelatos especially is that they have a lot of metallics and a lot of iridescences, ones that are called iridescents. I like that about them. Not all water solubles have that. Having said that, pearlescent or glittery watercolors are everywhere and you can get them on Amazon for next to nothing. I got a huge set of um, watercolors for literally a dozen pounds. <laughs> It's about 12 pounds and there's a hundred watercolors in there and a lot of them are metallic or glittery they're big at the minute because mica is is the ingredient that they use to give it that shimmery effect and it's readily available so you can again substitute that if you wanted something that was water soluble and had a nice shimmery effect but was cheaper however in this video we are going to look at alternatives to the gelato specifically meaning something that is in a bullet kind of format that is a gel texture so that's why we're not comparing these to Neocolor 2 water solubles or other water soluble crayons crayons are kind of stronger in the pigment you draw the line and then you go over it with water and then the line might still be visible yes you'll get the rest of it mixing with the color so you'll get color but the line often then stays where you put it with a gel they're a lot more squishy a lot more creamy and as you move them around the paper if you really wanted to you could kind of obliterate the lines that you drew with them a lot more easily <laughs> than what you can with a water soluble crayon that is like this in a crayon format here's the art bars they are more triangular which if I had to pick 
a water soluble crayon that sat between water soluble like a hard water soluble crayon and gelatos or gelato alternative type products the art bars will probably be the one because they're the creamiest out of the bunch that i have found anyway so in terms of what is there on the market that is alternative to gelatos there is so many marmate have something called twistables i'll stick pictures on the screen of different ones that i found on amazon on ebay there are loads i even found one from faber castell believe it or not an imitation of gelatos from the brand that makes the gelatos <laughs> Um, I found a nice one, one called, I think it was King Art or Kingfisher Art, but I think it's King Art. Um, caught my eye. They look like a really nice set. There's lots. The ones I have, I have um, in with my gelatos, I have these Distress Crayons. From Ranger. My friend sent me most of these. Um, a good few years ago now a, a very long few years ago and i haven't really used them so they're all pretty much new um but these come in a lot of types of sets i recently got is it this one with it um no that one i think i don't know a set with three metallics in it here it is so we can test out the metallic -y or the iridescentiness of these against the gelatos these ones I've had for a long time again um, maybe six or seven years and they're clearly aimed at children but it's the same scenario they are a jelly <laughs> I'm gonna go for a different color because that color looks a bit rude so the only problem we might have with these is <laughs> I've had them for a while, so let's hope they all work okay. I want to give fair representation to those other, <laughs> those other brands. This one's though, these should work fine. These are brand new. By a company called Shuttle Art. These are a brand that do a lot of things for children. Um, even says kids supplies, whereas the Tim Holtz one says adult use only. <laughs> super smooth and I guess that's the thing with gelatos versus other water soluble crayons is they are trying to appeal to our textorial experiences <laughs> meaning they feel a bit more luxurious because they are a smooth media I don't know maybe it's playing on some primal part of the brain um, I know I go all in for textures, that's why I like crinkly pages in my journals. We'll see if they'll be as good, but I think I could probably get all this set, 24 colours, for maybe, no, not even two of the Tim Holtz ones. Maybe two of the packs of three, but they have packs of three and packs of six. So um, I've got two packs of six here and one pack of three. So I wouldn't have even probably managed the six and the three. For the price of all of them probably just six so that's another consideration so we're going to try these three brands here versus the gelatos but i'm assuming that these three brands are uh, what's the word representation of what is available wherever you are in the world because it will be different as per your location. So how I have the gelatos divided up in my case is color versus iridescence and metallics. So I'm going to use this journal which is I think it's a moleskin. Yeah, moleskin. Um, I'm going to just find a new page, scribble. I'm not quite sure where to start with anything, so I'm just going to scribble. Ooh, so smooth. Maybe do 
an artwork in the end. I don't know. I don't think I have long here before I lose the light, so maybe not. I think it just might be a straight up. comparison now this is an older gelato you can say between the ones that are in these packages versus the ones that are in the more clear packages are newer it's definitely aged somewhat but haven't we all <laughs> So I shall see if that on that purple one has um, impacted its, its um, usability any. Let's go for some metallic ones. Definitely felt doing that, the metallic ones there felt harder, this creamy than those ones. And as you can probably see, it's a little bit, flakier as well could just be that that it's a new bullet i've just started it's possible this is a new one as well so we'll see yeah that one's done it as well though it feels creamier yeah definitely creamier than that one but that happens with different media and it happens just with the exact same media with a different color because obviously pigments themselves I just had something go up my nose. Hay fever is doing a number on me. React differently. So, it's just the nature of the beast. I'm gonna end with a yellow. So these three are metallic. And I'm going to these ones. Now you see that one's a bit flaky as well. But I think I think the flakiness, truthfully, is just because I'm starting brand new um, gelatos. Shall I wet the gelatos and then go on to the others, or shall I do the others and wet them all together? I think wet them all together because then we can tell immediately the difference in real time. <laughs> okay, let's go for the shuttle art ones. Holy smokes, brand new supplies. Oh, that felt creamy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dare I say it? They're creamier than gelatos. They're creamier than gelatos. I'm whispering that. I don't want the Faber Castell gods to kill me. Don't kill me, Faber Castell gods. Holy smokes, I'm surprised. I I'm honestly I'm blown away. <laughs> but that was just one, so let's try another. Oh boy, oh boy. These are so smooth. They didn't lie. The packet said super smooth. They didn't lie. Oh my goodness. I didn't say anything else. I didn't. But these are kiddie supplies, so let's see, they might not be as good when we wet them. Who knows? They definitely cover a little bit better. If you just wanted to draw with them, they cover better, I think, than gelatos. <laughs> don't know who said that okay so gelatos 
What do they call these? Oh, I messed up the colour. Do annoy me. I'm annoyed at myself. Okay, so I'm just going to call this the brand name. Shuttle Art. Forgive my terrible writing. It's slanted in. <laughs> Difficult to write. I don't know. <laughs> the Distress Crayons is definitely denser than this one. Um, in comparison to the Gelatos. Yeah, I'd say they're a bit smoother as well. Not as smooth as these guys. And I think, as you, I don't know if you can see in that, it's um, it's kind of like the gelatos in that the more you put on, the more it doesn't build as well. Like I really went for it with this grey heart over here from this brand. I added more and more. But you couldn't see any of the, the marks. It kind of blended. So blendability, this guy wins out of these ones as, as well. However, I think the pigments are stronger. They're more close to gelato level anyway. I think these ones definitely have um, less depth to them. Oh, we need to do some metallics. Okay, so this is antiqued bronze. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's barely visible. And try and build it up. It's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. It's staying the same. In fact, it's wiping itself off. The actual texture is even more soft than gelato, so it's kind of just squishing about. And trying to build it up is just not happening. But it could just be the one. So let's try the tarnished brass. I like this more. But same deal, it just squishes up. It just squishes up into a mess. It flakes. And I can see why it flakes, because it's got glitter in it. Not my favourite. Let's try their black. black. Black soot, this is called. So the darkest colour. The non-metallic ones don't like squish and clump up and a little bit, but not as much. Try these. What are these called? Matte. Oh, I'll call it this. Colour pep smoothie. I'll just call it smoothie. Ow, my elbow bashed it earlier and it oh, accidentally put weight on it now. Fingers crossed these still work. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's nice. It hasn't smushed up too much. Did come out nice and smooth. Lived up to the smoothie title. Let's see how the other ones do. Easy breezy, very run very fast. They like they they run across the page very fast. So that might be a problem if you're trying to be precise, but honestly, I'm not sure you would use gelatos generally for detailed work. I just I, mm, you might do, but I think you'd be more likely then to use them out of the bullet. You know, with a brush onto the paint. You know, that's I might do that for some shading or something like that. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily go directly into the piece with the gelato for detail. So I'd definitely say... The gelatos and the distress crayons are better for colour pigmentations, except the metallic ones on the distress. The smoothies feel to me kind of like the shuttle art ones in that, um, say this pink for example, it's not even as strong as that. I know it's different, slightly different colour. 
Um, but yeah, I don't feel like it's got the depth of these colors, but they are definitely smoother in their application. And I'm building upon it and it isn't kind of wiping itself away like these have done. Yeah. Kids ones definitely smoother, adult ones definitely higher quality pigment. Yeah, these are much more buildable. I'm surprised. I'm surprised the kid ones are much, much, much more buildable. Let's I'm gonna try it, although this is a metallic one. Yeah, it's just doing that thing where it kind of coagulates. You know when you go over certain media, like when you used to do with wax crayon as a kid, and it would just get, like, more of the pigment would just, I don't know, more of the, the media would clump and stick together in patches. That's what the gelatos are doing here. <gasps> ah, my elbow. You see that? I want a nice paintbrush. Give me a nice paintbrush. Okay, let's try this one. We'll try this one. Okay. Gelatos first. Do, 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 Let's just... Ah, work it out a bit. See what I'm saying about a wash? Now, that went on quite pigment strong. I thought that was quite a strong colour. I honestly haven't applied that much water to it. And it is doing that. Now, I might have chosen the wrong journal. This isn't watercolour paper. I'm not sure what this is. It's the Manila type moleskin paper so maybe I didn't choose the right journal uh, but I didn't want to do a heavyweight watercolor paper I wanted to do something I would probably use for mixed media now this one I've added a bit more water to and it's hardly coming up the pigment now is it because I left it a little while to dry I shouldn't think so. Water soluble means water soluble means water soluble means when I come to put water on it, it should turn soluble. I quite like that it gives you more of a, a I mean, this is the darkest color, this green. And this is supposed to be metallic. I'm not sure I can see any metallic. Okay, this is another iridescence one. They've definitely given off a bit more color payoff for me than regular gelatos up here but again as i've said i quite like that wishy-washy kind of look it depends what you're going for this is the third of the metallic slash iridescent types on to the next one got a lot now these That's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. That is a little bit of a disappointment, given how excited I was when I tested them out. But I said it might not come to fruition when you add water. Ooh, okay, that one's got some... That's got some gumption in it, that colour. So it might be a colour thing. It might mean on certain lighter colours you have to apply more kind of like I was saying about media it's acting differently even though it's the same thing this is what's happening these feel like two different things they're the same exact media but it feels like two different things I can't blur this line out Okay, now this grey one, I did add quite a bit of. No, I think that's even more disappointing. I actually added quite a bit of media to that. Oh my gosh. 
I'm really having to scrub that. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's go on to the Distress Crayons. Definitely feels in the water phase, more like the gelatos than the last one. So there definitely is a difference when it comes to the water. However, I'd say none of them. Honestly, if you wanted full pigment, other thing to go to. I mean, oops, I mixed a bit of pink in with that. I mean, they're all, you know, this watercolory effect at best. Sometimes <laughs> you don't get much of anything. I will say there is a bit of shimmer to these ones that I was a little bit disappointed with the, the depth of the color in the application but I can definitely see shimmer okay, on to smoothies ooh wow okay okay that's quite surprising <laughs> and then the next one's kind of wishy-washy <laughs> Yeah, that's not giving you any colour. Hmm. Aside from a couple, I'd say these are pretty strong colour. Tested, completed. So, hmm, where do I start? The Shuttle Art Kids brand did disappoint me when it came to adding water. However, the Smoothie brand, actually, it impressed me. It impressed me. I would say that that is probably second to the Gelatos. This one's the smoothest over the smoothies, but in terms of reaction with water and how how it plays feels more like gelatos the distress crayons hmm that's a conundrum the gold here in fact i think it's the tarnished brass here is on the wet side where i can see it reflecting it's glittering all over the place and i like that so i'll use those for touches but i didn't like how they just squished to nothing as i was trying to apply them the other colours, do I think that they are better than the kids' ones? Let me just say they all work pretty similarly. I am picking here, picky, picky, picking. The ones that I'd say A least least work the same as the others is this brand again with the water thing um, however looking at the gelatos now as they've kind of dried the difference I mean it might happen with these as these dry as well but the transition line between where you know I, I smushed it across with the water it has faded and this does look stronger. These colours do look stronger than when I initially went in with the water. So we'll have to see how these dry to see if they do kind of the same thing. These ones haven't. These ones have kind of stayed as they were. But if you're looking for really nice drawing crayons for kids, they will be brilliant because they feel really nice and smooth they definitely have got the texture thing beat on the rest however as artists i have to say that isn't more important um 
than how they actually play as media. What this has conclusively told me is that I do think gelatos, if you're going to go for the gelatos themselves, gelato type products, I do think the gelatos are worth it. Which you might be shocked at me saying, because I always say, use what you have, don't buy off of me or any other artist trying to plug you something. You know, I always say things like that. Don't waste your money because I don't want to spend your money recommending things. But if you're going to go for one and you want a good one, I would say, yeah, gelatos are a bit better. I thought I was going to come to this video and tell you, go for the kids' ones. They're cheap as chips and you can have all the rainbow and play around and not worry. And if you're doing it for backgrounds, I've already said this in another video, I have kids' supplies that I use for warm-ups that I then cover over for backgrounds. So if you just want something to play around in the background and you are not wanting it to be the best type of its kind then yeah, have a play with any of the alternatives that you can get. However, if I was to use this color here on a portrait and hope that that would, <laughs> you know, fade, I could blend it and fade out the transition light, then none of that's happening. This didn't react with the water at all, this color. So that case I would, if I was painting say, a portrait or a landscape, I don't know, anything, but I was using gel type media, I would be going for the gelatos. Of course I would. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't, even the distressed crayons, I have to say, if you're going to go for a more expensive kind, go for the gelatos over the distressed crayons. Just my personal preference. However, I know many people may be using the distressed crayons to work in line with the colors of the ink pads or the sprays or the other media that they have. And if that's the case, fine, that's, that's a different story to using it purely as media in your art journals that I'm talking about here. But if you are trying to make a nice piece, you're not just whacking things in the background, then I probably will go for gelatos. If I'm whacking things in the background, I'll be using the other things. Am I not going to use the other things now because I think gelatos have performed a bit better? No, of course I'm not. I'm going to use it all. I'm going to use it all. And there is place for everything. There is place for everything in your supplies. At the same time, what I said at the beginning of the video, do you need anything? No. My analysis is you don't need anything, <laughs> but use it all. <laughs> I hope you found this useful. This isn't me trying to sell you on anything. Um, it's just trying to respond to questions that I've had and see for myself what I thought between these different kinds in my, it, and it's useful to do this for yourself with the media that you have, because it's only experience of playing with your products that will make you realize where the best fit for those items would be in your layers, if you are like me, and layer, 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 and just your work in general and how they are best fitted to how you want to manipulate them. So much love everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs> um, and let me know below what you think about this. Do you like gelatos? You think they're overpriced? I do. I will say I do generally think they're overpriced, but you can find them when they are cheaper. I bought um, one set of the Faber-Castells for the same price as this big set which I think was £12 and as soon as I brought it it went up to £45 and that was a set of 12 so just keep an eye that was on Amazon so just keep an eye out you know different shops have it for different prices so I'd like to hear your opinions let me know below I do think they're a fun media whether whichever of these you're using you, there is a place for it and I do think they are fun and I do think they are enjoyable just to have like a crayon like you when you were a kid, but you can just smush, just smush and create really when they blend well, really nice ethereal backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I conclude this video.
much love everybody have an awesome week i'll see you in the next one